Hey, what's up, everyone? I am here, and I am doing my unboxing of the Hangover, the Blu-ray. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I fucked up, people. I actually did an unboxing of this a couple days ago. I already sold the movie in Blu-ray. It looks great. Uh, I did an unboxing before, but obviously, you're not watching that video. You're watching this one, which is not going to be me actually unboxing. I'm just going to show you what's inside. The reason why is because I deleted it on mistake. Everybody does that. I thought I saved your computer, so I deleted it from my camcorder, realized I didn't, so here I am, and I'm going to do the unboxing of it. Just simulate plastic over it, okay, people? Alright, so here's the Blu-ray. It wasn't that great of an unboxing, to be honest. I was kind of tired, so it's cool for me to do this over. So here is the front. Here is the back. Here are the sides. So this is what it look like on the side. And obviously that is the slip. Let's take off the slip. Let's show you that side, show you that side, show you that, and show you that. It's all the same. All right, so uh, let's simulate unboxing. Sling, sling. All right, it's gone. All right, see, faster than unboxing ever. So let's open it. This is going to be a big surprise. Okay, so uh, first off, you get a... Uh, a little digital copy just like in almost every blu-ray movie here's the code I already used it so I don't even care you can stop the video if you want plus you need a DVD to uh, use it anyway so that's cool it doesn't really matter anymore I I, I didn't realize that before uh, you need the DVD to actually uh, use it so yeah and if you had a DVD I guess you'll have two digi digital copies cuz it well if I if I didn't use that before so here is what it looks like this is the Blu-ray, and this is the digital copy you put in your computer. It's kind of useless, but whatever. It doesn't really come with anything. Yeah. You can actually have a digital copy for your iPod or PSP or whatever, and you can have a, one just separate for your computer, so that's kind of cool. So pretty much two digital copies in one because, I mean, I mean the Windows one, you could kind of, like, just convert it. I, I think. I'm not sure. You can convert it to uh, so you could put it on your iPod or PSP. So, yeah. Uh, let me read you what the special features are on, which I only saw one special feature, which is, a uh, the cursing mashup right here, which is just, like, all the cursing in it, like, fuck, shit, fuck, and it just combined it all together, and that's actually really funny. <laughs> uh, Iron Mike Online Teaser, it's, a the Champs edition of In the Air Tonight, In the Air Tonight. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Uh, more pictures from the missing camera. I saw all of them. Uh, most of them are kind of, yeah. I mean, they're cool. It's still cool to see it. Map of destruction. Retrace each step the guys took during their fate-filled evening and see the real locations. Learn about Las Vegas lore and see the filming that took place uh, there. The madness of Ken Jong, who is the Chinese guy in it or Asian. I don't know. Uh, they're all the same. Ken, sorry. Uh, Ken Jong's non-stop hilarious improv. Okay, he's a funny dude also, so. Action mashup, compilation of the physical comedy from the film, three best friends song, we're three best friends that anybody could have. Oh, Bradley Cooper, uh, Ed Helms, and Zach Galifianakis freestyle their own song. Okay, so Zach Helms and Bradley Cooper uh, also do it. And the Dan Band, the Dan Band performs Fame, I don't know, uh, and a gag reel, so... You also get the BD Live, which is the Blu-ray Disc Live. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what BD stands for, but I guess it's like you could go and, like, chat and stuff. And they also have picture-in-picture -picture commentary, which is awesome. I'll definitely want to watch that because it's the director and Zach Galifianakis, Ed Helms, and Bradley Cooper. Not the fourth guy, J J uh, Justin Bartha, I think his name was. He's not in there because, I mean, come on, he's not even in the film half the time. So what is he going to say? Well, yeah, well, uh... Yeah, I'm in here for 10 minutes. I'm in here for 3 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, he's not. And then plus, he probably didn't want to do it. Anyway, I, I love this movie. It's definitely... I saw it I saw it only once, so that's why I didn't rank that high in my uh, top 10. I think it was, like, number 9, I think. Or maybe it was... Yeah, it was, like, number 9. And I gotta say, after watching it again, I, I might even put it higher. Because it was just... Even when it wasn't funny... 
And that's what I love about comedies like this. Even when it's not funny, it's just fun to watch. And it's a clever story. I mean, it's pretty much like a... It's like fucking Sherlock Holmes. They're just pretty much finding clues onto what happened because they can't remember. And when you figure it out and all, and pretty much what happens to the guy that they lost, I mean, it's very clever, and you don't even expect it, to be honest. So, yeah. I didn't expect it the first time. I was like, wow. I thought, I really thought, like, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil it. So, there you go. There's my unboxing. Uh, let me put that back. Let me show that one more time. Let me show this. Just all, all open like that. Uh... Let me put this back in here. Also, my Legion review will come up tomorrow after I actually see the movie. Hopefully, it's good. People are saying it's really bad. Uh, I was going to see it today, but I decided not to because I wanted to be Dark Void. and all. I just want to see if it does good at the box office. So, I know, well, I mean, I'm still going to see it either way, but I want to know if it's, there's going to be a crowd. Because I want to know if uh, I should go early to see it before it gets sold out or something. And I, I mean, there's so many trailers and advertisements. I don't, I, I have high doubts that it's not gonna make that much. Uh, but it's been getting bad reviews and barely any reviews too. I mean, the reason why is because it wasn't screened for critics. So that should just gave them like a big, like, fucking uh, hint right there. So yeah, Hangover. Uh, watch for my Legion review tomorrow, and also subscribe. I mean, go follow my Twitter. Like I said before, uh, I made that video and two people unsubscribed from me in like an hour after that. So, yeah, fuck them. They're not fans. They're gay. They can go kill themselves if they get pissed off because I want people to go to my Twitter. So stop. So people can leave me alone about, oh, did you play this? Oh, can you view this? <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Go to Twitter if you want to know that stuff. If you don't, go follow me anyway. So there you go. Uh, it's By the way, it's Gore the Movie God. I, I, I'll put the link up, actually. So whatever. Anyway. Thank you, uh, yeah, thank you and, uh, bye.